What's up guys, Ben here, bringing you another video today. I wanted to cover some news that came out via DeSerto, aka uh, Jacob Hale, but the Esports World Cup, we've talked a bunch about how Call of Duty might be happening at the event, and the news has been kind of slow on that front, but it looks like we might have some dates finally, and it kind of presents a lot of interesting questions for both Warzone and for CDL. So let's dive in and take a look at the news that broke yesterday. All right, so about uh, midday yesterday, Jacob Hale posted an article on uh, Deserto, I think he also tweeted about it as well. And he basically mentioned that according to several sources, Call of Duty will feature at the Esports World Cup in Saudi Arabia with both Modern Warfare 3 and words on tournaments, possibly happening with a prize pool approaching $3 million. So what I've heard is that definitely there are talks going on, but I don't think anything has been 100% locked. Now, obviously three mil combined prize pool is also a lot and we'll get to what that means in a second. So basically, um, you know, Jake says that Turtle, DeSerto has heard talks of, you know, CD on Activision talking to WC far back as last fall. Um, but that recently on the website source code, there were a couple of dates included for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and for Warzone with Warzone being on July 3rd to 6th, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer um, from August 15th to August 18th. And the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 tournament would be $1.8 million and Warzone would be a million dollar price pool. Now for uh, multiplayer, and I'll slow down, show, uh, scroll down here so you can see kind of the dates in a better format. Uh, 1.8 is still less than Champs. Champs is about 2, uh, 2.3, 2.4, I believe, depending on the year, but it's still like decent money. You would think 40% goes first place is like 700k so it's still good funds but for warzone a million is still really really good for that both of these dates are actually like super interesting for a number of reasons one is for call of duty warzone this is smack in the middle of sort of the tail end of the qualifier stage for world series of warzone like during sort of the last chance stage so i'm curious to see how some of the dates and is going to work for for that process um and that part of the qualification to the final event for world series of warzone but with that event likely being in like the end of september october i don't think World Series of Warzone finals are going to be on this date. I think it's a separate Warzone event. As for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 in the August 15th to 18th uh, date. So this one presents a lot of questions. And I think we're going to get to the point of this video where, where there's not a lot of details. So I want to kind of surface what I think are sort of the key questions that we need to get some answers about here if this is going to happen. I assume once we do to get confirmation it's happening, I assume we'll get the answers to the questions. One is that... Uh, champs is, uh, ends in the middle of July. And from my understanding, the way that, uh, player contracts work, that they, uh, term the year, basically they work on a league year cycle and the league year ends about two weeks after champs. So there's no mechanism at the moment, unless something has been agreed to in the background with the players and the teams about extending those agreements to say August 15th to 18th. So you have the point here where players are going to be out of contract and be during a off season free agency period in between champs and the supposed uh, event date of August 15th to 18th. And everybody's gonna wanna play in it. Like again, $1.8 million, a lot of prize money, more than a major, less than champs, but it's still a lot of coin and people are going to cancel their vacations, rejig their uh, uh, off seasons to try and participate at this event. So my key question is how is the off season gonna work with the CDL? Is there gonna be two off seasons? Is there gonna be like a short term off season? And then this thing and then another one, I, I don't know. That's a question we're gonna need answering again if this confirms all right so i think the next question for me is like what is the format going to be for both of these events i think for warzone i think that one's maybe a little bit more straightforward probably some kind of group stage into um sort of a final match point type event i think that one is what i would guess for multiplayer i think there's a lot of different ways this can go warzone obviously being on the week one week seven uh, would be a uh, call of duty on the same week as surprisingly uh eafc 24 and starcraft which by the way not to derail too much but uh if, if this does happen i do end up going it'd actually be cool to see a lot of the um ea fifa players that i haven't actually seen in years really since COVID. so that'd be kind of cool uh that aside format for this thing uh great question i mean if you look up some of the event formats for all of these games especially ones that are for similar shooters like counter-strike uh some of the event formats are kind of like weird you got like multi-group stages and a single in bracket and some are fairly straightforward it's just a gsl or round robin group that goes into a bracket so for me like assuming that we do like a standard call of duty thing like 16 team group stage you know 12 team double limb or or single limb bracket or we do 16 to a, a double or single like i i think that's probably what we get maybe we get gsl groups i don't know it's going to be something like this but then i started to think about like well then like how is it actually going to work with spot allocation? Because you have 12 CDL teams. You would think, you would think that all 12 would go, but another question. Don't know if that's actually a hundred page. 
You know, there's probably gonna be at least one Saudi team there. You would think that the winner of Challengers Champs should get a spot and ideally the runners up. But then if we're assuming 16, you leave with one LCQ spot. And I don't know how you would figure out who would get the allocation of that LCQ spot. Now, my guess is that if I'm gonna make a prediction, I don't know if all 12 CDL teams are going to play in this one. And so you might get a situation where some of the current CDL rosters are then picked up short term by uh, uh, some of the orcs participating in um, the sort of club uh, process that's going on during the esports world cup if you don't know what i'm talking about basically ewc is doing the subsidy program for orgs participating um during ewc and you probably see like a lot of like key names uh, on here of orgs that you guys probably know this is a good mix of like na eu uh apac a couple of latam orgs are also on here as well it's a good mix of the gamut of orgs that obviously have decent uh social presences and brands um but are obviously going to participate in the majority of events but again my point is like you might see all 12 CDL teams not participate and some of those teams get picked up by some of these orgs. This I'm gonna say, well, Optic's not on this list. I'm not really worried about Optic uh, not playing under Optic. I think they're gonna play under Optic. Same with FaZe, same with LA Thieves, 100 Thieves, whatever. But like, you look at like a, 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 a Cloud9, for example, do they pick up uh, somebody, uh, you know, uh, G2, for example, what would the Minnesota Rocker do? Like, there's a lot of questions. And it goes back to the, the format thing for me of like, assuming that you don't, Assuming that any CDL team that participates gets a locked in spot, then what would you do with the other uh, allocated spots? I assume you would either, you would basically do like an LCQ um, because if you do like pro points based on CDL pro point and the amateur thing, it gets a very funky with people to get dropped off of pro teams and they get screwed. That's not going to be a good look. So this is my key thing is like, I really want to know what the format this is because how the non CDL spots are allocated are going to be very, very interesting. And Unfortunately, I assume there are not going to be a lot of great answers available um, on that front, or nor I think, unless they do 24 teams, is there going to be a solution that makes everybody happy? All right, so that's kind of what all info I have sort of on the event for now. I assume as stuff gets confirmed or more leaked, we'll get more information. Uh, but with the dates coming up pretty fast, August 15th to 18th is in like only a couple of months now, and July 3rd to 6th for Warzone is literally in a month, so. I think any details on this stuff is going to come out very soon. Don't me all may ask, Ben, what is the flank going to do uh, about these events? That is a great question. I would say for my POV, we probably like to go, although I don't think that Tommy can actually make August 15th, 18th work. So it may be a flank situation where I'm kind of anchoring with Sam and Chris and Pat. Uh, we're going to see kind of how things go out, but I think if there is going to be a massive call to the event in um, Saudi, um, in Riyadh, I think we'd probably want to go and and be there to see what's going on. So we'll give you more info as we confirm stuff um, on uh, that front. All right, so really that's all I got on EWC. Let me know the comments you guys think uh, of this. I, I'm not surprised at Call of Duty potentially participating in this. The one thing I didn't mention is if you Google around um, the leader of Saudi Arabia, his favorite game, if you Google around, is happened to be Call of Duty. So uh, not surprised that this is happening considering that fact. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. We'll have our predictions video for this upcoming week of matches tomorrow and i'll see you guys on the next one